little tip of what I do on my cars and other uh, customer cars that I get. As you can see, this one is mass air converted. It's an 86 hatchback. Um, I'm running 24s. Uh, heads cam intake on it. Okay, so let me walk you through what I like to do. Um, it's pretty simple, as long as you have the mass air that you're gonna use and the computer. Uh, for five speeds, you can use basically any automatic or manual computer. For automatics, it has to be an automatic computer. Uh, this computer right here, it is a A9L, um, and it's a five-speed car. So what I like to do is I'll go to the junkyard and I will get a pigtail. Uh, this is your basic uh, connector. It comes on like the 89s um, and up. Uh, this one came off of a 95 V6, I believe. Um, so I'll grab one of those. You don't want to make it too short because if you make it too short, you're not going to have enough uh, length of the wire to, to you know solder it or use a bud connector. So you want to give yourself a good amount of wire length um, when you do cut it off of, you know, the car. The other thing is, uh, this is an old ECU connector. Um, it used to have all the same, you know, pins as this one. But uh, I've used this for a few other mass air conversions in the past. So it's missing a lot of pins. Um, but for the purpose of today, it's going to work. So this is basically all your pins, um, just like this. This is how we're looking at the pins, okay? You need two pins for if you're gonna run the VSS. Um, so basically you get your donor, your donor uh, ECU connector. It's gonna have a red uh, little clip, um, retaining clip. You pop it off with like a small pocket screwdriver. Um, that works pretty good. So then you, once you get it off, you insert it in here. You can kind of tell it has like little small tabs in there. You just pick at it, you pull it down, and then you pull the wire out. You're gonna need two um, just to do the, the mass air conversion. Okay, um, so for your main For your main mass air power wire, which would be the red one on the right side, um, you can hook this up to pin 37 or 57. It's up to you, optional. Um, I hooked mine up to pin 37. Uh, I used a bud connector, so I cut it. I put my, um, my wire that runs to the mass air. Uh, I joined it, and then I heat shrinked it crimped it heat shrinked it and then uh for my ground one you have two options as well you can run um pin 40 or pin 60 um so you can either cut it off or you can you know stretch the wire uh you can open up the wire like this wrap the wire around solder it whatever you know you feel is easiest or whatever you're more comfortable with um you could do either or so you can cut it but connect it or you can just solder it um and that will take care of your main power and your main ground uh your positive your blue signal wire your positive signal wire you're gonna run to pin 50 in your computer or your car harness in the connector you're not gonna have pin 50 that's why you need to unpin two wires um you basically do just as i instructed you take the red tab off and then you uh get like a little screwdriver put it in there and yank out the the wire then you're gonna take the wire from here insert it into pin 50 and you're gonna run the wire from there all the way to your mass air just like your power wire and your ground wire then you're gonna have your um your signal ground wire which would be the brown one and just in case you know you get the same connector but the wires are different 
you're still it's all going to be the same thing you're you're the one on the left side is going to be the power wire the one next to it is going to be your negative and then you're going to have the ground and then the power wire for the mass air these two are signals and then this is your ground and your power so for the ground uh signal wire which would be the second one to the left um you would run that to pin nine which would be over here and just like pin 50 there's not going to be anything there um you have to insert a pin from your ecu donor you're gonna have to insert a pin and then run the wire to the mass air um and that will basically take care of your mass air wires now if you're gonna run the vss you're gonna have to add two additional wires and the positive would be going to pin three and then the negative would be going to pin six so now just if you get confused uh in here uh you're gonna have all the numbers so all these numbers that are on this paper are all uh engraved into the plastic of the connector so you just have to look at the back of the connector and then you'll be able to um see the numbers let me see if i can see there you can see 18 19 20 so it's all in there okay so there's there's it's pretty straightforward um now let me sh well the other thing that you want to plan ahead and do is uh you want to give yourself enough slack so just in case if you're going to run like a cold air or a, i mean a, a power pipe like an anderson power pipe just like my car does um i i had to extend it a little bit but it's always good to do that because just in the future if you want to run like a blower setup or something like that uh you might have to lengthen the wires you don't want to do that um this is something that you kind of want to just do once and that's it so now the way you run the wires is totally up to you i ran mine with the harness so they all run um all together the whole bunch runs together um over here on the grommet side i made a hole in the grommet underneath um and it comes out with the harness together uh it passes through the fender and it comes out over here right there you start up the car because it will run a little funky is you want to delete the uh vacuum hose that goes from the intake to the map sensor uh you want to eliminate that you leave the the little port right here on the map sensor you leave that open um you don't have to cap it off it's it's basically like a vent um you do plug the one on the intake manifold all right so quick little recap for your connector that's going to go to your mass air your red one you can hook it up to your slot i mean a wire 37 or 57. now you can either cut the wire and use bud connectors and join it all or you can just uh open up the wire like this and solder it together um so for the power side you're gonna hook it up to either 37 or wire 57. for your ground side you're gonna hook it up to 40 or 60 um and like i said you could either do bud connectors or solder it together uh for your signal wire your positive signal wire the one on the left uh that's going to go to spot 50 uh, on your ecu connector it's going to be open there's not going to be anything there so you're going to need one of these wires um that you can get from a donor ecu connector at the junkyard you stick this into slot 50 and then you run it out to your mass air over here um and then your ground signal wire, that's gonna go to slot nine. It's also gonna be empty. So you are going to have to use another one to insert in there. All right, guys, that concludes this video. If you have any questions, um, you know, drop a comment. Um, more than happy to help you guys out. Um, but this is just how I like to do my mass air conversions. It's, you know, things that I don't have to wait for in the mail um things that i can get the same day uh that's why i like to do things this way and uh, i mean i've never had an issue um if you want to keep up with the build on this car um you know subscribe 
and uh, I'll be doing I'll be finishing up the roll cage on this car I'll be doing a uh, custom uh, seat delete for the rear of this car I need to finish up my turn signals um, because of the tubular front end um, I had to do some welding there but uh, I just have to do one side and then I'll be switching over to electric fans as well um, but yeah like I said if you like to keep up with this build uh, please subscribe and uh, like this video thank you